Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 15th of 2020. Well, it is titled Mars at the Moon's Edge. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon, the large object in the foreground. And in fact, you only see part of it. And you can see some of the various structures on its surface. Now the moon being a very dead object is extremely heavily cratered and you can see a lot of craters there. Although there are some regions that are much smoother. The smoother regions are part of the Maria or seas. Now we call them seas, but they're not actually water. They are actually just frozen lakes of lava that have solidified and have been like this for many billions of years. So one of the things we look at when we look at the moon is that the various parts, the number of craters that we see tells us something about the age of that portion of the moon's surface. The fewer craters, the younger. Now, of course, younger on the moon may mean only three, three and a half billion years old. Uh, older regions can be four to four and a half billion years old. But because cratering was very intense early on in the history of the solar system, those very heavily cratered areas, some of them still survive. And we can see regions there that date back to the earliest parts of the history of the solar system. So but of course, even the Maria, the darker areas here are still much older than the surface of the Earth. And could we zoom in and look at them at a larger, uh, closer scale, we would see that there are still actually lots of craters there, just much smaller ones and fewer of the large impact craters that we see elsewhere. Now the second object that we see here off to the right is actually the planet Mars. Now Mars is much larger than the moon but of course is also much further away. So in perspective on the sky it will actually look a lot smaller. So it's a larger object further away appears smaller in the sky than the moon. And what is happening here is that this is just about the instant before an occultation begins. An occultation occurs when one astronom astronomical object passes in front of another. So here the moon is about to pass in front of Mars. Of course, Mars is well beyond the moon off in the distance, so there's no way they can collide together. But the moon will block out the light of Mars for a short period of time. Now this image was uh, taken during a previous occultation that occurred this past Sunday. Uh, there will be two more chances to see these in September and October uh, the next time the moon will pass in front of Mars. And that's simply because the orbits will not have changed significantly in that time frame. So if you're in South America, the, the lining up will be correct for you to be able to see these uh, occultations. So they're not visible all over the Earth because the moon will appear at slightly different perspectives. Uh, places depending on where you are on the Earth's surface. So if you're further north, the Earth will appear in one spot and may appear then above or below Mars. But if you're in the right area, in this case, South America, you will be able to see these occultations. So that was our picture of the day for August the 15th of 2020. It was titled Mars at the Moon's Edge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Grand Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.